Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube Vino. This is part 21 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is mounts command and also refresh mounts command inside file system utilities in Azure Databricks. So we are going to explore about these two commands. Uh, if you have watched all my previous videos in the Databricks playlist, by this time you already know what is Databricks utilities and also you know what is file system utility and inside the file system utility there are couple of commands which we discussed already in our previous videos. We also discussed about creating a mount point and also unmounting or deleting a mount point and everything in our past videos. So please watch those videos before watching this video. So firstly what is mount point as I said in my previous videos. Mount point is nothing but uh, it's a point it is it's attachment point which you create on your Databricks file system to access your external storage. So once you attach your external storage with the mount point then from that point of the time you can access your external storage files and folders as if you are accessing like some local folders and all. So we have seen all this in our previous video right. So if you haven't watched I strongly encourage you to watch the previous videos and then watch this video so that you will get most out of it. So let's discuss about what is this mounts command and also what is this refresh mounts command. So let me go to Databricks. Uh, I have already opened uh, Databricks Studio here. Uh, it, so if in my past videos I said that uh, you can use that dbutils dot help function to know uh, list of the available uh, utilities inside that Databricks utilities. So if I execute that cell by hitting the shift enter button, it is going to execute that command and it will going to give you all the available utilities which are available inside the db utilities. And there is a utility called fs here if you see this is like a file system utility. So this file system utility contains commands related to mount points as well. So let me practically show you that. Uh, so here in the db on the db utilities use fs which indicates the file system utility on top of that use the help command and let me hit shift enter this is going to execute a command and get you all the commands see under mount section we have commands called mount mounts refresh mounts unmount and update mount this mount command we have discussed in our previous video this will help you to create a mount point for external storage and this unmount command also we have discussed in our previous video which, which with which you can delete the mount point whatever you created in this video we are focusing about this mounts and refresh mounts and in our next video we will discuss about this update mount command so mounts and refresh mounts if you see here mounts command this this command is going to display the information about the available mount points on the database file system actually so let's assume uh, this is a command that will create a mount point right if you see here we have a source parameter mount point parameter and also a extra configurations parameter where we have this information right uh, this is the config key what we use when you use account key as a credential right we have discussed this in our past video so if i execute this command this is going to create a uh, mount point for this storage account and this blob storage account contains a sample container that's the reason i used the url like this wasbs that means windows azure storage blob storage then container name at the rate storage name blob.core.windows.net then for the mount point parameter mention your mount point and then supply your account key because we are using account key credential here so let me execute this and uh, see whether this will create a mount point or not so let me hit shift enter button and let's wait for the command to execute here command executed successfully that means mount point created right so since i created a mount point with this name from this point of the time inside this container whatever the files and folders we have we can access them as if you are accessing like local storage or like databricks file system so that's the reason i simply used a mount point here and i used a ls command here so ls command is give you inside this mount point whatever the files and folders it is there it is going to print you so this mount point is pointing to the sample container and if i go to the sample container inside the sample container whatever the child items we have files and folder names all that information it will actually print see these are all the files and folders have so inside the mount point there is a data folder so for example if i want to list down what is the data available inside the data folder even that is possible let me take this data and now if you see after mount point i am simply using only data so why I am not using the full path because till the mount point we are actually pointing to the container already. So we simply use the rest of the path here and if I execute this cell by hitting the shift enter it is going to give you the all the child items. So the, right now there is only one file called employees.csv file that's the reason it printed only that. So this is how we created a mount points right. Now let's assume uh, you don't know how many people have created a mount points and everything. Uh, for some reason you want to see the available mount points. 
so how to do that so for that inside this file system db utilities inside this file system utility there is uh, let me shift uh, control space to get the intelligence and here there is something called mounts command so this mounts mount command is going to create a mount point this mounts command right this is going to give you all the mount points what are available on the database file system let me hit shift enter to execute this command and see these many mount points are already available and if you see among these mount points this is the mount point what we created okay so apart from this mount point there are a lot of other mount points this, this is also one mount point which i created before this video actually and there are a lot of couple of other mount points this will come by default with the storage okay so all the available mount points on your cluster this command is going to list down them so mounts command he will go, going to help you to display the information about the currently available mount points on the databricks file system okay so now let's understand what is this refresh mounts command so to to access this refresh mounts command under the databricks utilities file system utility then dot refresh mounts this is how we need to use this and as i mentioned here this is going to force all the machines in the cluster to refresh their mount cache and ensuring that to receive the most recent, recent information so what that means is uh, we attached every notebook with a cluster right so cluster is nothing but like a group of machines and these machines has spark in it already and also databricks file system and also mount points everything whatever you created everything will be attached on the cluster only so on the cluster means on the machines right so on those machines whatever the mount points you have it is it will try to refresh all those mount points and it is trying to it is trying to clear the cache so let's assume it catched some data and uh, whenever you are trying to read that data always you are getting the data back from the cache only you are not getting the data from the external storage let's assume so you want to make sure the latest information whatever is available that information i want i don't want to read the data from the cache so in that case what you can do is you can execute this refresh mounts command to make sure your cache is clear and then your mount points are refreshed so that they will get a fresh data or the latest data whenever you try to query them so to execute that simply use this same same way right after the file system simply use refresh let me hit control space to get the intelligence see refresh mounts and uh, simply hit this uh, shift enter button to execute this command once this command executed successfully it is going to print here like uh, true that means all the mount points on the storage are refreshed successfully okay see command executed successfully that means all the mount points are refreshed successfully okay so remember that whenever you feel there is a need to refresh the cache to refresh the mount points so that you need to get a latest information or accurate information then go ahead with this command and execute it in your code okay so i think that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much